Canada has been a nation, we have faced tragedies on our waters. We have lost loved ones on our soil, and we grieve the pain that generations of Canadian families have suffered. Today, we are taking action to reduce losses and lessen the suffering. Defence Minister Peter McKay announcing that he is taking steps to improve the country's search and rescue system. He's doing it just two days after the Auditor General says Canada's ability to track and find missing people isn't as good as it should be. Let's go to the CBC's Hannah Thibodeau. She's been following this story from our Ottawa Bureau. So, Hannah, in that announcement and those six initiatives, what are the major ones? Yeah, there are a few big ones in there. It's $2 million to upgrade the Coordination Center in Halifax. That's the Joint Rescue Coordination Center. There's one in Halifax. There's also one in CFB Trenton and one in Victoria, but they're adding to this one uh, out east. Also, there will be a satellite system to detect uh, beacons, and there will also be a website to register those emergency beacons. Also, um, an increase in flexibility for, uh, for mandatory response times. What this is, uh, essentially, the Air Force uh, currently has a minimum state of readiness. That's 30 minutes uh, on between Monday to Friday, between the hours of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., they have to be ready up in their planes, up in their helicopters within 30 minutes. All the other hours, it's two hours. So what the defense minister is saying is there is now an initiative. He's calling on the commanders of the local areas to say if there are busy times, uh, for example, the lobster season in the Atlantic coast, then you can extend those response times. So make it from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Whenever it's busy on the waters, he wants that extended. Also, there is a review every four years of the search and rescue system that first review will be coming in the first uh, in the next couple of months and uh, it will happen again in 2017 so those are a few examples of the six initiatives that were announced today for search and rescue and did any of it cover the concerns raised by the auditor general a couple of days ago well, that's a big thing. There was a whole section of the Auditor General's report earlier this week that focused on search and rescue. The main focus of his report was about the system. So the search and rescue system, it called it at a breaking point. And he really singled out the Air Force in that report. What he said, there's not enough or even the right type of aircraft to respond to emergencies. So not enough or the right type of aircraft. And also saying there's a shortage of pilots, uh, train crews uh, or train crews that put the system in jeopardy. So the big thing in his report was about equipment and personnel. And that wasn't really addressed today at this press conference. So take a listen to what Defense Minister Peter McKay had to say about those issues brought up in the Auditor General's report. Let's not forget for context that the Auditor General did say that the existing provision of search and rescue uh, is adequate. Adequate is not good enough. Uh, we need excellent. That will require further investments. That will require the improvements that we have announced today. It will require, as you've referred to it, investments in equipment uh, and personnel. And that's why this quadrennial review, uh, which is to get underway as soon as possible, is going to allow us uh, greater insight into how we fit all those pieces together, including matching equipment with personnel. So that's how what he had to say about that. And when it comes to paying for these six new initiatives, what I'm told from the department is that they're going to do pay for them through various measures. So find savings within the department, also uh, from other programs, such as moving money from maintaining the Challenger jet fleet to search and rescue. And then some of the money had been allocated previously. So that's how those six initiatives will be paid for.